thanks for using the Alaska Communications Online Troubleshooting Guide. Today we're going to discuss how to read your DSL modem. Your DSL modem is a piece of equipment that was provided and set up by our installation team. This is how you connect to the internet. This model is a Smart RG SR505N. This is our newest model. You may have this model or something similar. The functionality is the same. Let's look at the connections on the back of the device. Going from top down and left to right. First, there is an identification sticker on the back that shows the MAC address for your device. Please note where it is located as you may need to provide this information to a technical support representative. Below the identification sticker on the left side of the modem is the gray DSL port. Use the phone cord that we've supplied to connect this modem to your wall jack using this port. Next, you see four yellow LAN ports labeled LAN 1, 2, 3, and 4. These use Ethernet cords to connect to devices with a wired connection such as gaming consoles. The WLAN button switches the Wi-Fi functionality on and off. The reset button. Avoid the temptation to press this button. Only use this when you've been instructed to by an Alaska Communications Technical Support Representative. Next, the power cord. This receives the power to the modem. Make sure that the power cord is properly connected to a working electrical outlet. To the right of the power cord is the power switch. This switches the power on and off when you press and release the button. If you're having issues connecting to the internet, press this button to turn off your modem. Wait two minutes and press it again to turn it back on. It will take about one minute for your device to power cycle through and for the lights to come back on. Now, let's look at the lights on the front of the device. From left to right. The power light should always be on when the power is properly connected and the power switch is in the proper position. The next four lights, labeled LAN 1, 2, 3, and 4, correspond with the yellow LAN ports on the back of the modem. When a device is properly connected to one of these ports and turned on, the corresponding LAN light will indicate the connection. Next, the W LAN light indicates when the Wi-Fi is on. When this light blinks, it indicates wireless traffic over the modem. When the WLAN light is off, the Wi-Fi is disabled. Pressing the WLAN button on the back of the modem will turn your WLAN light on. Next, the DSL light must be on and solid to show that there's an internet connection. For this light to be lit, a phone cord must be connecting the DSL port on the back of the modem to a phone jack at your home. The last light on the right is the internet light. This light indicates that the modem has a connection to the internet. When the light blinks, that means your internet is in use. When the modem is connected and working properly, the power light will be solid. The LAN lights will indicate active wired connections, and the WLAN light will be lit if the Wi-Fi is enabled. The DSL light will be solid, and the internet light will indicate a connection to the internet and will blink when traffic is being passed.